Chakaru, chakaru. That was interesting. Well, hello, everyone. Uh, what? What? Uh, what? Oh, what? Yes. What? We're on straight away, huh? Chakaru, chakaru, no. man. They're supposed to chakaru do. Yeah. Why did that give us a little bit of warning, man? I, I yeah. did run it. It was oh, a it, three, it, it, two, one. I was kind of, I was saying it. I was saying it. Well, we weren't listening. Oh. oh wow, you wow, with your wow, with your wicked wow. <laughs> Bow with the bow, the bang, the bang, diggy, dang, diggy, 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 said the boogie, said up, jump, up the, the, boogie. the boogie, bow with the bow. Awesome. <laughs> well, hello, everyone. Um, I am Ryan, your dungeon master. Uh, here on Perception Check, your Wednesday episode with your filtered friends, uh, starting with our uh, friend on the left of the screen. Is that me? Yep. I don't, I don't know. Who okay, cool. Hi, everybody. I'm Cucumber. I'm playing Koval Dream Spool. Uh, I'm a Clash Star Paladin, level seven. Mm -hmm. I've gained a couple spells. I can now summon a, a steed, and I can. And what I kind can, of steed? I can. I can choose. I'm going to choose a mascot. I'm going to ride a puppy. Oh. It's a dog. It's a mascot. Cool. And yeah, I can way, do some other um, stuff. We'll get there. I can't tell the difference between left and right because you're actually on the right of the screen. <laughs> Shut up. God damn it. So, so it didn't matter. No, didn't no. matter. Mm -mm. Hello, friends. Yeah. I'm Chunk. I'm playing Cobalt. Uh, Cobalt. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing Black Kaboom. <laughs> no, Black Kaboom. <laughs> Black Kaboom. <laughs> I'm a changeling fighter. <laughs> oh, why that wine fire? makes him stronger. <laughs> I also leveled up, and for the looks of it, I seem pretty much the same, just a little leveled up. Nice. Um, okay. I, I, um, just a little you leveled uh, up. Did you hit the fire again? Uh, what? I am learning how to use OBS versus yeah. Jazz because you can't yeah, you hit the fire again. You, you can't do the transition locally. It will do it every time you go back to that scene. <laughs> I, fixed, I fixed your centering for you, uh, Cucumber. Um, Thanks. Yeah. Didn't know it was off. It's, it's all good. Surprise. <laughs> Surprise. You're off. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Are we well, all? Uh, well, yeah. no. no. You started talking. Got one more, buddy. Cool. Go so uh, I'm Brian, and I'm playing Czar, and I'm a um, Hill Dwarf Wizard 7. Yep. Great. All right. Yeah. I got. Some spells now. <laughs> yes, you do. Um, and some other things. I think I got Mage Hand now. Nice. And um, and something else. Something else. Don't worry, I'll find it. Shocking Grasp. I don't know if I had that before. Um, and you got a you got a lot of kids. Oh, I got I got <laughs> Aganazar Scorcher. Right. Yeah. What? Yeah, that's what that's what I give to all my lady friends Great. after the fact. Do they need good a good old case of ag for that? Yep, good old case of Agonazar <laughs> Scorcher. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, um, you you look like you're you're, you're a tan over there. You're all in the dark. Me? Yeah. I haven't changed any lighting. I don't know. You're in the dark. Whatever. Mm. Whatever. Whatever. Just look dark in the stream. Mm. It's moody, I guess. I guess so. Being, what? Nothing. Oh. <laughs> I was I was ooing at things that I haven't noticed before because I never clicked them. <laughs> I clicked the, the defenses and conditions, and I didn't realize there's toggles for all that. No. Yeah, yeah. that's pretty cool. Yeah. Let me give us a follow. Can you see the follows? Can I see? I don't know what's happening. <laughs> In the chat, like always. I didn't see it. Yep, he was said it. Yeah. He did. Mm. He was there. Mm. After, mm. after, after, after that toast. <laughs> I don't know how you pronounce it. <laughs> I see it. After that toast. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> so, of course, there are ways to influence the game that we are. Oh. Whoa. How, do you, oh. how do you do that? Hey, whoa, <laughs> holy shit. <laughs> Random turnip, turnip, thank you for that. Random turnip. Thank you. Lawrence Mulligan, Marquis de Lafayette, enter the fray with the right hand man, Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> well, all right then. 
Wow. Well, Good thank job, you. Guy Binks. <laughs> job, job, Binks. Uh, that, that, Are we singing already? Because that's where uh, we're at. It, it is a bard song I mean, time, actually. I mean, it is. <laughs> I mean, we could. Yeah. I mean, it's going to be in, great. In the style of oh, Hamilton? E yeah. E I've never seen Hamilton. It's going to be even better. Oh, it's a, it's a rap musical. Better? Oh, I'm I'm sure I can rap. <laughs> Are we sure thank, you for the, thank you for the sub, Oswin Pond. And Yarum. Yarum. Send me one. Subscribe for six months. <laughs> uh, uh. What are we singing? Okay. Hmm? Uh. Yeah. What's going on? What are you doing, Ryan? Okay. I'm writing down all the names so I know, can keep track. Oh, all the people. Yep. Because there's okay. There was basically four, five. Basically four, five. Lawrence Mulligan and Marquis de Lafayette. And Jar Jar Binks. So three. Oh. Yeah. Because Lawrence Mulligan is one person, right? No, it's Hercules Mulligan. Oh, that's right. John Lawrence. John Lawrence. Yes, Marquis right. de Lafayette. And Jar Jar Oh, that's what all these names Binks. are from. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, they're from the, the show that I haven't seen yet. Got it. Yeah. Lafayette, also from U.S. history. Yeah. <laughs> more importantly. <laughs> mm. Mm. Meh. Meh. All right, got the all names. Oh, one more game, one more game, and coming in with the rate of one hundred seven. Boop 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 we're just getting started, and That's we just, just did our first bard song. Just got to but our Ryan's first bard song. Mm -hmm. Just got to our first bard song. Because <laughs> we're just getting started. Because <laughs> we just got started, everybody. Welcome you, to the show. You know, we just got started tonight. Eh? <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Going great. Yep. Going real great. Hey, Chunk, did you know we just started? Uh-huh. Did you know we got to a bard song? I do. We just I heard that. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it's great. It's nice. Mm -hmm. If you don't know what a bard song is, every whenever we reach the one hundred dollar goal, we sing for your yeah. pleasure. Yes. So much pleasure. It's so let's pull the group since these people are all coming out <laughs> as characters. Mm -hmm. Huh? <laughs> Nothing. Go. You're very quiet, by the way. Half the time I can't tell you are talking. <laughs> Am I really quiet? No, no I can hear not. you really loud. Thank you for the follow. Anyway, Ken Zen, thank you for the follow. Do the uh, Lapper <laughs> Queen, thanks for giving me the follow. E R O E R O. Hello, thank you for the follow. Red Raspus RPG. Flapper Queen. Red Raspus. That makes more sense. Red Raspus. Okay, so what am I going to do? I was going to say, we should probably let Ryan drop these characters, get started a bit, and mm. then sing the song, we'll the song. Because I want to see what his versions of these people sound like. <laughs> yeah, me too. That'll, <laughs> in, just, that'll inform just, how I sing. For those of you just joining us from Wormwood, we've got uh, we've got John Lawrence, uh, Hercules Mulligan, uh, Lafayette, and Jar -Jar. De Lafayette, and Jar Jar Binks have been dropped as yeah. characters in our campaign. <laughs> In our game right. here. Oh, looky, bouncy, bouncy camera. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, as you guys are waking up, uh, taking your long rest in the Underdark here, you notice in um, in the darkness that there is another campfire um, up 50 yards or so away from you. Um, and you can hear a, a conversation happening, uh, some some clinking of glasses and stuff like that. And um, and the voices are merry almost. Um, do you go and investigate? Uh, does do their fire? <laughs> God damn it! Go on. <laughs> I yell out, "Ahoy there! <laughs> Who goes there?" All right. Please. As you as you yell out into the into the void, uh, it kind of echoes a little bit throughout the chamber, and. You, you see the the group kind of like the shadows illuminated by the fire, uh, kind of start to stir and and um, like kind of get up, look over, see what's happening. 
and you see four figures start heading your way. Um, when they get within range, they they are all you all see that they are um, humans except for one of them, um, uh -huh. and they are all carrying tankers with them, and they seem to have been having a merry time of drinking. Um, oh. And they they are all slightly drunk, but. Um, he said, oh, hello. I am. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> Who is that speaking? I am. You know they're, you know they're American, right? <laughs> Marquis de Lafayette. Except for that one. <laughs> you dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> he told you. <laughs> yes, he actually did. <laughs> yeah, I told you right off. Sorry. All right. Open up a book. <laughs> um, <laughs> well. Uh, I, it's uh, my pleasure to meet you. Uh, won't you please have a drink with us? Uh, I said France. I know. I didn't go there, did it? No. No. No, no. Russian. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I wasn't all wrong. Yeah. Da, hui, hui. <laughs> have a drink with us. Yep. Um, and then uh, John, you see another man come up. He says, I am John Lawrence. Uh, please. Raise a toast to our newfound freedom. Um, were, you, huh. were you like captive? Well, yeah, what are you free from? We we were being held by some uh, unsavory folk down here, and we finally made it out. We, we have yet to find a way out of this cavern, but <gasps> uh, at least we found some other people who seemed to uh, be of better persuasion than the captors we had. Mm. Okay. And um, Hercules Mulligan kind of uh, gets up and he says, "Yeah, we were we were uh, <clears throat> lucky to to kind of swindle our way out. I I got well in with the uh, the group that was keeping us and stole the keys from them. So we, nice. Yeah. And so and what we do you also, do for a living, Hercules? I uh I I make clothes." Awesome. I need new pants. Um, oh. Yeah. Yes, sir. Who's that guy with the long tongue and the ears? Mmm! He's still called Jar Jar Binks. Nope. <laughs> um, <laughs> and they all kind of turn to him and he's just, and they're like, not, not now, not now. And he's like, and then. No, no, um, no, no. I want to hear from the jolly fellow. No, right now. Yeah, we want to hear Is this the one who imprisoned you? you? Blink once for yes, twice for yes. <laughs> Yeah, do we have to dispatch this person? No, 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 no. Friendly fella. Friendly fella. Come here. Did you blink? I think he blinked. I'd like to misty step behind Jar Jar Binks <laughs> while everyone else is in conversation. Okay, you do so. <laughs> level, level one, Trey Pine. Woo. What? Trey Pine? Trey Pine. Trey Pine. Okay. Hype train. Trey Pine. Trey Pine. <laughs> Trey Pine. <laughs> level one, Trey Pine. <laughs> woo woo. Who? 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 <laughs> um, he, he, they all, they all tell you that he was, uh, captive with them, but he was not with their group. Ah, where'd um, you come from? Mm, you used to live down here. Mm -hmm. You live here. Horrible existence, I say in my own mind. <laughs> I'm a mind reader and I don't want to give away my position. Fair. Nobody's really paying attention to you so far. Good. Um, yeah. Let's see if anyone... Hey, uh, hey uh, Cobalt, what are you doing back there? What's going on? <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, hey, Jar Jar, look, the Cobalt went over there behind you. Mm. As he turns, I slit his neck from the other side that he has just exposed. <laughs> yes, you do, with the natural 20. <laughs> oh, probably killing him, too. Uh, maybe. What is? What were you using? Like, uh, your scimitar? Or your... My great sword. Your great sword. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to be sure. <laughs> so two d six yeah. plus two, doubled. Two two handed neck slit. <laughs> All right. Oh shit! Darth George the Third arrives to recapture all his escaped <laughs> captives. Thanks, Karis. Mm. <laughs> so you essentially yes managed to get the carotid artery across his neck and he just starts <laughs> 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 
That's much better, isn't it, fellas? And he's like, his now tongue can... starts wriggling out of his mouth. Yeah. yeah. Now I can speak in peace. <laughs> and I, I grab him. I grab his. I grab his tongue, and I say, "Don't do that again." <laughs> As he's dying. <laughs> Uh, miss not do it again. Uh, uh, I understand. Uh, dude, I, dude, you guys, I, I have no idea what just happened. <laughs> I have nothing to do with this. They all, they all kind of look at you, Koval, and they kind of look mm-hmm. around the group, and they're like, "Oh, <laughs> oh my chunk. God, the empire's the chunk." <laughs> <laughs> yes. No. Uh, so Dark good. George the Third. Okay. Dark George uh, is third. And then we still got to sing about this yes. Jar Jar so, Glorious so let's, Death Rebirth. Let's sing real quick. Uh, before we get to that, I would like to get over our incentives and our uh, sponsors, and then we will get to everything else. Oh, that's right. The beginning of <laughs> oh, the yeah. show that was skipped. Yeah, which they mm-hmm. clearly know what the incentives are because we've yeah. gotten like a hundred of them. Hey, did you know where we're beginning? <laughs> <laughs> At, from the beginning? The very yeah, we we're started? Just starting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So. Um, for ten dollars, you can give the players rerolls. For uh, fifteen dollars, you can give me rerolls. I can uh, reroll their good rolls. For twenty-five dollars, you can obviously drop in characters. It has been happening all night so far. Uh, for fifty dollars, you can give a player DM powers for one entire minute. Um, and every one hundred dollars, we will sing a bard song. Mm. Um, what happens at three hundred dollars? Uh, I have to sing one on my own, and it's super, super terrible. No, you're going. It's a good thing you went over it because Harlan and I didn't know the incentives. Oh, good, good, good. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. And of course, our, our wonderful, wonderful sponsors are uh, Wormwood Gaming, who yeah. sell all your uh, lovely geek chic products and high end mm-hmm. geek merchandise. I'm super going to uh, order some yeah. dice for the Kickstarter. Oh, yeah. So just it's dice happening. case, dice towers, dice vaults. I'm really dice bummed dice. I have to wait till dice. January to get them, but it's going to be worth it. You could also get something they have in stock right now. Yeah. They don't have dice in stock right now, though. Not yet. They, don't. I, they do win it. I'm pretty sure they do. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they do. Yeah, you can get some I'm dice on their side. Him. He's looking at it right now. Yeah, not the Kickstarter dice, but the dice they currently have. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> All right. Be right back. I'm looking at dice. Why is your screen down there? Okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm currently looking at dice on their website. <laughs> if you yeah, use our too. code perception at checkout, oh, you what can happened? get free shipping. <gasps> Jesus, man. Here in the United States only, though. <sighs> cool. Um, okay. And yes, also, you, one of our sponsors is Level Up Dice. Um, and I believe that they've done a little bit of partnership with Wormwood lately as well uh, to make some really cool dice. Um, yeah. And you can use our our link to go buy some stuff in the in their store as well and help us out. Um, yeah, I think that's everything. So, and yes, where where we left off last time, you guys went into the temple of uh, the basically the evil god of this campaign. Um, Typhon. Typhon, yes. Mm-hmm. You you went through a few different. Yeah, good job, good job. Thank you. Um, thank you. Um, you went through some different trials. You found that there was a uh, little enclave of people that were still not worshiping him anymore, but just kind of cursed from him being like them being his worshippers at, at that time. Um, and they, you found out that a priest had been kidnapped uh, along with a device by some uh, halflings that had come and like done some investigating a long time ago, and uh-huh. they corrupted themselves and went into the Underdark, and now you are going to rescue the priest, hopefully get back the device, and that's where we are now. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so yeah. And now you guys just met up with all of uh, Hamilton's men. <laughs> okay. And Jar Jar is dead, and we're waiting on King George. Yes. Darth George, sorry. Darth and George or, third. Yeah, and, yeah, Chunks Barton. And a oh, ch- Chunks DM powers, yeah. our bard song. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. Um, so yeah, do you want me to do to drop in George first, or do you want me to? No, nah, I'll do. I'll do my DM powers first, but we should do the bard song first, right? 
So your yeah, okay, the empowers will be second. Oh no, yeah, I'll do my cool. empowers, and then we'll have something to sing about as well. Okay, give yeah. me something to sing okay. about. That's a Buffy Ready? reference. And go. Uh, so I I walk over to Jar Jar Binks and I kneel down and I put my hands over his his, his slit his slit his slit throat and I, and I concentrate real hard and all of a sudden like I feel this force this force come through me into my hands and I begin to to use this force to heal him and I heal him and his neck starts closing up the the blood runs dry and he opens his eyes and he takes a big breath and looks at me. So happy to see your face, Misa. So thankful for you, what you had just done for me, Misa. Misa, so grateful. So he reaches into his pocket and he pulls out a little bag and he opens a little bag and he opens it and it's a red kyber crystal. And he looks at me and goes, Misa, think this is dangerous. So I've been saving it, but you are a hero. So I give it to you. And he hands me over the 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 kyber crystal and I pull out my old broken lightsaber and I put it inside of it and it. And I open it and it goes. And you're out of time. And I have lightsaber there now. You have a really, really nice flashlight because you didn't say it worked. You said did. I just said it just turned it on. Yeah. I just turned it on. <laughs> you're trying way too I'm hard kidding. to not have this I'm lightsaber. Kidding. You're fine. Yes, you have a red lightsaber now. Yes. Um, I'm also going to say. Yep. Um, I'm yeah, guessing. Cricket's so loud. I yep. know. <laughs> To use a little bit of um, your force healing, I would say you probably took five points of damage from that. <laughs> damage? Damage. Yeah. So I'm you're giving, giving him a little bit of life. <laughs> and now I can do force healing. During DM powers. Oh, okay. I should have said that the next time. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. Dang. Yep. Yeah, but Rogue says... Rogue Je- Jedi says, "Just be cool, Ryan. Just let it happen." Yeah. 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 Ooh, yeah. Well, <laughs> we came to save some halflings from under the mountain. Mm-hmm. I slid Jar Jar's throat and turned him into a fountain. Woo! We've got to get out alive tonight. Cause if we don't, there's gonna be a big fight. I rescued Jar Jar. I was the hero. I'm gonna be a Jedi someday. Jar Jar is here to help me out. Give me a red kyber and put it in my saber. (laughs) Jar Jar's throat was slit. We thought that was his end, but then Chunk brought him back to life, and I don't know why he did. He should have left him dead on the floor because that is the way. I don't know why he wants a lightsaber today. Hercules Mulligan is pretty cool. He is nobody's fool. He's a tailor. He's gonna make my pants, and I'm gonna do this really cute dance. Chicka pow, 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 ch
I have some spells to use too. Agnizer Scorchers and Visibility. Animate Dead Dispel Magic and Visibility and Vampire Touch. I'm going to take them all and use them all at once. It's going to be great, better than a lightsaber. And we're going to win. We're going to win. We're going to win the D&D now. Word. Uh, 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 mm. We're done. And many more. Mm. Mm. Uh, this is cricket. Mm. I can't. It's so loud. Uh, it's, 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 tell me about it. I'm in the room with it. It's screaming. The crickets were screaming. Find it. You can't. Murder Everywhere it. Everywhere and nowhere. Just throw something. It'll stop for a few minutes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, knock your mm-hmm. table over again. <laughs> Hey, what? Ah, haha. All right. No, it's still going. Oh, there it is. Uh, <laughs> you need like a chameleon or something. <gasps> Give me a chameleon. No, you a bite. predator that has eyes on the side of its head. Right. <laughs> All right. Unique example, okay? There's always outliers. <laughs> oh, thank you, Pinwist, for the subscription. Two years. Wow. Wow. <laughs> 24 months. That's a long time. Mm-hmm. Mm. All right. Mm. Well, now, Ryan. What's up? So, what happens now, ah. Ryan? Well, I will let you know one other thing that the chat was asking about was rolling for hotness on all the people who have dropped so far. Oh. Okay. Um, what, why'd they mm. drop? Lauren's is a one. Hercules is right back. Oh, okay. <laughs> I can still hear you. Oh, okay. Hercules Mulligan is a seven. Marquis de Lafayette is a ten. Uh, Darth George the third is a seven. And Did you Jar-Jar step Binks on it? It sure sounded like it. Did you, did you throw yourself at it? Jar Binks is a five. <sighs> nice. <laughs> well, well, what happened? Mm-hmm. Status report, sir. So, uh, status report. I... I sir, uh, we got, um, I, I banged on the wall. <laughs> got it. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, it worked for now. Toy Joy Austin, thank you thank for you. the follow. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So, um, you, uh, you were all having this conversation. Um, we were, we were. And Jar Jar is, is just kind of like, think like, uh, Professing his love and thanks to you. Mm. You're on a Batman. Thank you for that. What's that <laughs> sound? Wow. Well, it's Koval's best friend, Jiminy. Jim now Cricket. sing about your favorite cricket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Well. <laughs> when you kill a Bing's charger, don't think it will get you far. Powers from Chunk will undo that death. When you attack my friend Binks, I'm gonna avenge him with all my kinks. <laughs> Anytime you wish to fuck with him, I'll kill you. Thank you for the raid. <laughs> when you have a Jar Jar Binks, I don't know what me thinks, but it's fun to sing this song about Gungans. Thanks Gung. for the raid 27. Okay. Wizard Rex TV is great. He raided, or they raided, with a party of 27 today. Gungans, they all kind of suck. Don't blame me, I don't give fucks. I will kill them every time they come to me. I will break their stupid legs. Pull their ears and put them in kegs. Light the keg on fire till it goes. 
come. Beautiful. Oh. That was pretty good. Was beautiful. Oh. Well, the Raiders came into a song, so that yeah. was great. All great right. part song. Perfect was, timing. Hey. Perfect timing, yeah. <laughs> Thank you all yeah, for joining us. For those of you who don't know... Yeah, you don't know what the fuck happened. Uh, we sing bard songs at every hundred dollars. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you we very have, much. We've Put already done Stick two bard songs tonight. Mm -hmm. And, uh, of course, the next bard song is going to be mine. So uh, Have we started yet, Ryan? Barely. <laughs> I don't but think yeah. we've started yet. We Maybe you know. should talk about the incentives. But I have. <laughs> Maybe you should introduce yourself. Hi, Cucumber. Go, go murder it. Take care of it, buddy. <laughs> wow. Wow, so angry. So wow. angry. Well, um Charlie Ray, thanks for the host. Holy shit. Oh, 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 oh okay. <laughs> we will play D D at some point tonight. It just won't be no. now. No, we're not gonna play. This is great. Back and forth. Continue. 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 Oh yeah, Georgia, Georgia, what? Oh, I see. Bye. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> you need a second? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm non-verbal right now. I got real mad at the cricket. I'm just like so red. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm ready. All right, here we go. Three, go. Two, go. Three, two, Shut one. Up. I see, I see chunks. Uh, sorry, I see uh, uh, Blam's activated red lightsaber, and I hold out my hand, and it's like, and it's in my hands. Now I'm still behind Jar Jar because he stood up to face his friend, and I just, I just like as he's sticking out his tongue again, even after he was warned not to by Zar, not Zar, fuck, what's mm -hmm. your name anymore? Uh, Zar, uh, mm -hmm. I push the the blade of the lightsaber through the back of his head and i create i make a new tongue for him made out of red lightsaber and i go like <laughs> and it just like <laughs> and it spiral cuts him so it's like a, it's like a zoodle you know it's zoodles <laughs> yeah it's like gungan zoodle and uh so he spirals down just kind of like mantis exploded at the end of avengers or the middle of avengers i don't know how long spoiler ahead. alert spoilers um, oh, um no. now I have a lightsaber and uh gun get dead. Yep, perfect. All right. <laughs> um, all right. So, Fair enough. All right, all right. The, a lot of stuff happened. Lawrence Mulligan, uh Marquis de Lafayette all kind of look at you now and they're just like, Are you are you okay? <clears throat> I am now, thank you for asking. I'm not okay. Why, oh, any questions? <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, we're doing pretty great. <laughs> All right, let's turn it. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, uh. Junk, you know what to do. <laughs> I sure do. <laughs> and then we get to sing about it. Oh, no, Ryan gets to sing about it. Yeah, it's a Ryan part song. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Let the force flow through you. Um, three, two, one, go. Three, three two, one. I walk over. Three, two, one. One, start. I take my lightsaber back. I go up to up to Jar Jar. I force heal him again, but I force heal him so hard that now there's two Jar Jars. Um, he, he asexually multiplies to an exact clone of himself. Uh, this, the, and then I put my um. My, my, my lightsaber back on the side of me and I put both of my arms around both charges and I go, don't you fucking mess with us. And now they both each also have lightsabers and can defend themselves now next time they get attacked. <laughs> and green ones though, because they're, they, you know, they're more on like the knowledge side because they're really smart. And, um, 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 oh, and now my I can force heal once a day for full health. So Koval, maybe you won't be nice to me now because you're always dying. I'm perfectly nice to you. Oh yeah, and my friends too. And um, done. <laughs> I love that you Go forgot on. to uh, tell me that you don't take damage because I made that clear that if you oh, force yeah. healed, <laughs> yeah, and he force healed so hard that there's two of them now. So right. that's gonna oh, be a lot of damage. So Blam <laughs> has kaboomed. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, right out of here. Let's see. Well, let's see. Let's see. You take 
<sighs> 14 points of damage. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm not see him. Everybody likes your hat. They do. What? Yeah. I was watching that <laughs> little mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. Jar Jar is now dead again. Well, no, he's not. He's alive no, again. No, he's not. Two of them. Two of them. Yes, yes, yes. No. Everyone is like, you, you heard him. He's dead. Was, you heard him. I was DM recapping. Said. I was going, DM. Dead, alive. Two of them. DM said. Uh, um, yeah, Neon says, okay, these puppets are having an LSD flashback. LSD. Oh, number one is true. And two, you could be both. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, could yeah be both. I don't know your life. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what you've been through. But, but normally we like the word felted friends because puppet yeah. low racist. Yeah, it's kind of rude. Yeah. It's, cool. it's fine though. It's fine though. Yeah. Um, but hey, the- Ryan. Yeah. You should sing about all these Jar Jar makings. There's Ryan's turn for a bard song. True. I swear you guys, we'll get to the DN game. DN game. DN gang. It's gang. Young gang. All right. I'm not a C. Under the sea. Right. Not our song. Not our song. <laughs> no good. The cricket's back just in time. Perfect. Just in Great time decree. for your song. They say one Jar Jar's not enough for this world, so I'm making him two. But why <clears throat> does Koval cry when he sees this Jar Jar walk by? <laughs> why so sad? I thought that you liked the prequels as much as I did. But <laughs> you on. appreciate the Jar Jars. Oh, you were doing so good. I know. <laughs> I started thinking. Uh, That's your problem. Uh-huh. <laughs> the Jar Jars all come and attack Koval. What? What? <laughs> They remember how much he hates them. So they go after him with their green lightsabers and battle with him. (laughs) All of them stand there in circles and begin walloping him with their sabers. (laughs) He stands and fights to the death but they remember that they are nice people they come to an agreement and for the moment they believe they can be of use to each other they all, lots of toy joy. Toy joy. They all shake hands. They all shake hands. And they become real, and they be real good home. friends. Real good friends. That was terrible. Is that the end? Yeah. yeah. That's not a very good end. <laughs> I'd like to go back to the chat for a second. Okay. Yeah. When the factor said felted individuals, I think a friend, uh, it says felted individuals, I think friend is a little pre- presumptuous. Oh. Uh, that, that is a fair that's statement. Fair. That, is, that is fair, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, but just know that we would happily be your friend, sir. Yeah, you won't be a friend. No, or sir. madam. Or sir, madam. <laughs> sir, madam. Mad sir. Or madam, sir. <laughs> well, sir, that was a song. That was a song. No, we don't. Toy J. Austin says, goodness, that was pleasant, albeit eerie. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least it was pleasantly eerie. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. Next song, we call up Kenny. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Well, oh, Kenny's going to oh, sing. Uh, oh, oh, shit. We might get there. DM, DM powers yeah. to the cricket. All right, cricket, go. How's this what? going? Go get him. Yeah. Go get Hello? the cricket. Go get the cricket. He needs to get the talk cricket to the mic. And bring him over. Cr- cricket. Successful. 
No, I was not successful. He doesn't want to come. He's also out of my reach because uh, I'm a garage. Garage is very tall. Well, he's got DM powers. What are you supposed to do now? You yeah. don't give a shit. <laughs> well, how you are tell supposed him. to use his DM powers? Man, I don't know. Cricket. <laughs> Cricket. I think he's ignoring you now. Cricket. Fuck. He's just playing you for a fool now. <laughs> 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 she just says, hey, chat, uh, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> However you want to resolve this one. <laughs> Dougie says, cucumbers neighbors must have the cops on speed dial. <laughs> yeah, it's possible. Oh, uh, yeah, it was really embarrassing last week when I had to gas him on stream and every door was open. That was weird. <laughs> it made yeah. sense if you were there, by the way. <laughs> No, just had an orgasm on stream for no reason. No reason. Mm -hmm. <laughs> None. Hi, Amanda. Amanda. Whatsoever. Hi, Amanda. Amanda. So, uh, Craig, Craig, you don't want to play. Brian, <laughs> I don't know what to do with this. Brian does mm -hmm. have the empower. If Arsenal's okay with it, maybe Brian can take over. No, I'm not as yeah. good as a cricket. Or do you want to? Do you want to wait a little bit till we uh? We also tell some more story. I'm gonna sit here and be like the chicken, go chirp, 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 um, DM power. I vote for Brian. Brian DM power. Well, we gotta see what the person who donated Arsenal. Yeah, Arsenal. I'll ask we gotta him. see what Arsenal has to say about it. Because apparently the cricket doesn't want. Ah. Oh, he's no. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you for the sub. Right. DM to me oh. is fine. Okay. <laughs> well, the cricket's back though. Does he want to play or not? You, do you want to do DM powers now, or do you want to do them like in a minute? Judging. Don't wait a minute. God, I hate this all oh, this stupid delay. We keep talking over each other. Mm -hmm. I know. That's fun, oh, isn't it? Yeah, it's not intentional. It just happens. <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna wait a minute. Alright, alright, alright. You um okay. Two chargers. <laughs> You guys are all kind of now sitting around the fire, um, mm -hmm. and uh, you've all kind of made do uh, or made friends with each other now. Like you, you've scuffled, you've you've gotten over it, um, and finally you're all at least able to have a nice break with with drinks and stuff. And Hercules Mulligan is passing around a rum bottle and and pouring out drinks for everyone. Um, and at <coughs> this point, <laughs> sorry, you uh, you see a very flamboyantly dressed man uh, coming around the corner of this cavern, uh, and he's got a uh, a very opulent gr uh, golden crown, um, red velvet velour uh, kind of Santa velvet or velour. <laughs> Yeah, which one? Velvet. 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 Yeah, he can't be both. <laughs> he can't be both. And thank you, Majestic Taco. <laughs> <laughs> um, Ayers says he feels like he ordered this character drop hours ago. Well, <laughs> I mean, you probably did. Let's be honest. <laughs> Stuff happened. Stuff happened. It's happening. It's happening. <laughs> I can't say it didn't happen. I saw it happen. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Romulans. Okay. Well, <laughs> Brian, when we stop talking, that's your just your just a cue to yeah, just a cue to get going, cool. get going, cool, cool, cool. Keep it up. Tank, tank, tank. And um, he says, "Ah, there you are. I've been looking for you all evening." Um, and and just you see Hercules Mulligan kind of like put his head in his hands. He's like, "Oh, great, he followed us." Um, well, this is, uh, this is George. Um, he was also 
uh, captured with us. And he's like, yes! No thanks to you that I left and got away. I want away all drinking. And he just kind of sits himself down and, like, kind of knocks one of the people off of a stool to take his own. Which mm-hmm. people? Uh, Who's specifically? He, he knocks uh, John Lawrence off of his chair. Mm, yeah, what? I would too. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, you didn't. I'm my friend John. I stand up. You get up, sir. What are you going to do about it? Oh, I don't have it anymore. No, I took it back. <laughs> I, I, Swing! <laughs> what's happening? And I take my lighter and I toss it at Kova. Ah. Bitch, I need that back. I'll give it back in a second. <laughs> uh, Please stand. He stands up and draws his own lightsaber. <gasps> I stab him in the face. You will try. <laughs> Fortunate soul. Uh, that's a five. Um, that's a five. Uh, Do we have uh, re-roll? Yeah. Is it? You have a, a four player re-roll, so yes, you can. I'll use one. All right. Using a re-roll. Using a re-roll. Oh, well, look at that. It's a natural 20. Oh, uh, yeah. All right. Uh, I think I said lightsabers are like 2d10. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. Eight, eight points of damage uh, plus two, I think, is it? So uh, 10 points of damage to Mr. Mm-hmm. George. Sweet. Nice. Okay. See, that was a warning. Now treat my friends with respect. God. How dare you, sir? Do you even know who I am? No. No. I didn't watch the movie. I don't know who you are. <laughs> Even if you know your American history, you know who I am. I am Don <laughs> George the <III>. Third. <sighs> you will Pretty sure that wasn't an American history. <laughs> you will give me your respect, sir. Nah. No, not gonna do it. Mm-mm. I throw my bag of dicks at his face. <laughs> I, re- I I reach into my pocket for some tea. Ooh. Uh, throw it on the ground. So, <laughs> with your natural one that you threw the bag of dicks at him. I re-roll that. You re-roll your bag of dicks. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Are you going to use uh, <laughs> your re-rolls or the player re-rolls? Wait, do I have five? Yeah, you do. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I'm going to use one of mine. All right, cool. Uh, Beardum Batman says, me and that stabbed in the face with a lightsaber. Ten points of damage. <laughs> it's because this is new trilogy lightsabers. Had it been original uh, trilogy lightsaber? Yeah. Dead. Yeah, he's got, yeah. He's got the weird carbon fiber stitches yeah. now. Yeah, mm-hmm. New trilogy ones are, like, apparently weaker now. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah you can slice people up their back and it doesn't Nothing. matter. It's just like, oh, they're going to be in the hospital yeah. for a little bit. It's Spines fine. grow back, guys. That's, yeah, it's I, fine. I knew that. It's fine. We'll put him in a bag of fluid and he can run around with it. Go. <laughs> 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 yeah, right, Johnson. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's painful. It was, it was okay. We were still- right. right. Oh, what? Take a shot. <laughs> <laughs> just happened. I said Ray. I yelled Ray. Oh, he Ray. Oh, Ray a lot. Ray. I was like, where? Yeah. Who? Who's rating us? <laughs> no, oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this Karen is says cool, Bacta. Though. Listen, I know, I know, I know, I know Bacta. I know here from Bacta. But Bacta don't grow your spine back after it was slipped by a saber. Mm-mm. Yeah, mm-hmm. remember the time that Luke lost his hand and they stuck him in a tank? Mm-hmm. He didn't get a new hand. Come back and then no. come back. Mm-hmm. He got a robot one. Just smoothed one. out that stump a bit, that's all. And all he did is lose a hand. Stump. He was in that thing yeah. forever. Yeah, this bitch lost a spine. A mm-hmm. spine! A spine! <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> so, uh, that was... Oh, oh, you want to continue now, huh? 14, yeah. plus your bag of dicks. So, uh... <laughs> You hit yeah. him in the face. One. Yeah. Uh, all right. I'll say there's a. Decent we bow damage. to no one. No one. Oh. I, I cannot even take this insolence. And he goes to strike you, uh, Czar. Mm-hmm. And he does not with a three. He kind of is like doing lots of big, ah. like all open flourishes, but. Nothing is actually connected because it's just not. He's not. He's, it's more for show than actual skill. Yes, Kobo. Can I get an attack of opportunity because he turned his back on me and started fighting Czar yeah, for no sure. reason? Why not? I, 
I yeah. stab him in the back. <laughs> All right. That's a 17, so that will hit. Yeah. All right. Another 2d10 Zoom. damage. Zoom. Oh, wait, no. I slice him up the spine because I want <laughs> to know what happens. Oh, mm -hmm. okay, okay, okay. So, uh, what would you like to happen? Because <laughs> uh, that's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> what I would like to happen will take far too much time, but here's what I would like to happen. <laughs> no, we got plenty of time. We're not doing yeah, anything I else. I slice him up the back, and he's like, oh, no. Oh, no, my back, uh, boys. And, like, his guard or whatever that were waiting in the back, they come, and they put him in a big old barrel full of some liquid. And they're like, don't worry, sir. You'll grow back. You'll grow back. He's like, I know I will. And he never does. <laughs> He's just going to be stuck wearing, like, inflatable gooey bits for the rest of his days. Perfect. Good. Hmm? <laughs> so good. Uh, was he was he wearing, like, a crown or a helmet? What was he wearing? He was, yeah, he had an opulent crown. Mm -hmm. He was I wearing a it. crown. You take the crown. All right. I take his velour or velvet. <laughs> Whichever mm -hmm. one it has. Whichever one it has. It's actually both. It's reversible. Oh, Ew. <laughs> All right. I wear, I wear velvet side in, I guess. <laughs> Can I loot the body? Sure. Yes. Uh, you'll search. So an investigation with a 13 plus your investigation. Uh, Orms and company are super chill with us killing their friends, by the way. I mean, no, they didn't like them. They don't like the king. Yeah. Plus yeah. two. <clears throat> 15. <laughs> 15. Uh, <laughs> all right. You find um, <clears throat> in one of his pockets that there is a... Bags of tea. There's yes, there is there is several bags of, of tea. Mm -hmm. Um there is also a uh short bags of lube. There is a short <laughs> scepter, no. um gold encrusted yeah. with a jewel at the top. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take that. All right, you take that. And I'm gonna take the bags of tea. Anything else? Um a long scepter. <laughs> no, this was his hey, journey hey, scepter. Guess how much that tea costs? How much? I don't know, but it's pretty steep. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. So <laughs> uh, um, Brian, are you ready for I your... take I take the two bags of tea and I hang them between my legs and I tea bag the king. Wow. Wow. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Ryan's parents and then and then and then I take I take one of the uh, the silver dicks out of my bag of dicks and I slap him across the face. And I say, ha! We don't want any. We don't want them. <laughs> <sighs> okay. So that may put... be the dumbest thing that's ever happened on this show. <laughs> Thank you. This, this, is um, we, this is why we need a girl on the show. Seriously? No. Nope. No. Nope. It's uh, fine without it. Well, <laughs> so I put I put the, dick, the silver dick back in my bag. I put the bag of dicks away. And then, yeah. Um, well, I mean. <laughs> hey, hmm. Kurt, I was going to say. Thank you for the sub. Thanks for the sub. Thank you, thank you. I was going to say DM powers, but I honestly don't know what to do with them right at the moment. Well, you don't want to use them too long because we're... Uh, you never Is there only a minute? You don't want to wait too long. I know. Why don't well, you set the scene a little to more? Set the scene. All right. What's the moment? So, um... Hey, bring the oh, bastard for the, 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 the raid. I didn't say anything. I just made no, noise. you just made noises over people. <laughs> oh, complainer of people talking over you. Uh, uh, okay, so George is dead. Um, they, you, you hear now in the, in the echo of this chamber, uh, a small uh, chirping in the distance. <laughs> yeah, we can hear that. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what a budget! <laughs> <laughs> These sound effects are great. You see um, a little disturbance of, of dust uh, every so uh, few seconds. Sorry. Yeah. And it's slowly <laughs> hopping towards your campfire, seem seemingly drawn 
to the glowing light that is your campfire. Um, you good? <laughs> you want to share with the class? <laughs> grand, grand, grand says, right? Looks like if Jamie Hyman had a love child with a sickly medieval plague victim. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. I guess. <laughs> it was a compliment. Ooh, Briggs Bastard says our DM thinks your DM is cute. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh <laughs> <laughs> himself. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh no. Wow. Ah, fix it. There we go. <laughs> so, um, and it's you see it hop up right to you, uh, Koval, and yeah. You, you see, <laughs> you recognize this cricket. Um, you haven't seen this person <gasps> for a long time. Um, Jiminy! Is, is that you, Koval? Fuck, did you start sweeping chimneys? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't used to talk like that. Cheerio, governor! <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I didn't mean to talk like that. Uh, was it? Was it? Was it? <laughs> Hi there, little boy. Got a nice tip for you right here in my pocket. Why don't you reach on in and grab it? <laughs> what? Like, you want to come in for a cup for some reason, and a glass of some wine? Reason, I can only I can only think of the mouse from Dumbo. I can't think of Jimmy's voice. Yeah, it's all good. Really. I'm not doing the mouse from Dumbo. <laughs> I know, but like that's what I was, I was trying to figure it out in my head, and I then it just went higher, and I was just like, nope, that's not it. <laughs> Where's Brett Quinn when you need him? <laughs> when did? Oh, Brett! Oh, Brett! I never I never heard him do that. Jimmy. It's I never perfect. Heard, I, yeah, I heard it was good. I never heard it in person, though. Like, dead on. Mm, that's yes. creepy. Ah, so good. All right. I'm a um, bummed I never heard it. Well, uh, it's, been, it's been quite a long time. It's uh, surprising to see you down here. I know. I've made lots of bad decisions without you, Jiminy. Well, lots of bad decisions. Where the fuck were you? I just killed a Gungan. Well, twice. For no reason. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I guess I'm I'm here in time then. Uh, it appears you need some luck, and uh, he he kind of just hops into your lap and don't don't worry. I I'm, I'm here to to grant you as much luck as I can give you. But uh, um, I move him from my lap to my shoulder. Right. I don't want him on my lap, for I am standing, and that is uncomfortable. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, thank you for this. Thank you, Valen. Or the sub. Bum, bum, bum. Mm-mm. Or the sub. Mm, mm, mm. Thank um, you for the sub. And so <clears> as, <throat> as long as you Thank have you for uh, Jiminy touching you, he grants you <laughs> a <laughs> advantage on your skill checks and attack rolls. Mm. Sweet. Yeah. Thank you, Jimmy. Yeah, yeah Jimmy, touch him. <laughs> um, so where are you, where are you guys uh, heading? And this is, this is, oh, hey, for a reroll for Cucumber. Boom. <gasps> Hooray. Thank you, Uber. Well, that must be nice. Mm. Now you all have at least one individual reroll. Thank you, Uber. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay. You guys, the shorts yeah. are in this chair are squeezing my bits. Hmm? The shorts I'm wearing on this chair are squeezing my bits. <laughs> I'm having a similar problem. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm good, are I guess. Are your bits? Yeah, okay, you good. Know, they're, they're, they're bitsy. Um, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yeah. <laughs> right, fix this. <laughs> fix, how do I fix that? DM. Over. Oh, okay. Tell us where we are so I can mess you up. Oh, say. Um, so we're prone to distraction. Yep, you go on to tell them <laughs> that you are on your way to uh, rescue a priest that has been taken mm-hmm. by a bunch of halflings, mm-hmm. and they they tell you um, that they saw a temple not too far in on the other side of the bridge that was being run. It seemed by a group of halflings that looked unusual. Hmm. Huh? Yeah. Okay. We go. Okay. Uh, you you begin finishing up your uh, drinks with them. They all kind of merrily toast to your your success. And um, 
by by any chance would you uh like some uh help on your quest i mean we we don't know how to get out of here so oh absolutely we mm-hmm. just have a you Once. go first policy yeah 100 mm-hmm. percent. as in you go first I would like to roll a persuasion Policy. if that's what you're doing, because I get a plus six, baby. Great, that will uh, help really well with your negative, your natural one. Negative? Just... Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, try again. Your natural one. Roll again. All right. All right. That is now a twelve. So plus I'm... nine. Perfect. Good. They going first. Right. They... They... Plus six. What? Plus nine. I thought you said it was plus six. Oh, plus six. Plus six. Sorry. I got <laughs> excited. <laughs> all right. So um, they all agree that being they they are more familiar with this area than you are, they, they do not mind going first. Uh, Woo! Yeah. So they, uh, they. Oh, wow. Ah. I'm, oh, fine, I'm, I'm, fine. Fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. No, you good? They all start clearing up their camp and Mm -hmm. uh, putting out the fires and everything like that. Mm -hmm. And they start making their way across the cavern. Uh, Uh, What's the cavern look like? It is 70 feet wide. Are they just walking across or is there a bridge or something? (laughs) There there is a bridge, a rope bridge. (laughs) Okay. Um, It sags in the middle. Um, It Mm -hmm. is very well worn. It hasn't been... (laughs) Hasn't been maintained probably ever since it was built. Um, mm-hmm. So every every time you put a foot down on the it it, it creaks. Um, How long is the bridge? At seventy feet. Got it. Yep. That's really weird because if it was seven feet, it means it might fall into the into the water because this because it would probably need to be a little bit longer than seventy feet, so it would be a little more stable on the. It, it okay, fine. It extends a little bit where like the the pylons kind of anchor it to the sides of the the chasm. Okay, that makes more that better. Turbs, thanks Turbs. for the follow. <laughs> Turbs, like that. thank you for the follow. Oh, uh, I have... uh, Scott, mate, what'd you give? Money? What money for what? We it roll for? I can't read another it. for cucumber. Oh wow! I know the cucumber. Nice. Thank you Thank very, very much. He's and we're already uh, thirty dollars away from Kenny's part song. If we can get him on the phone, <laughs> oh, sounds yeah. great. Man, what else is he doing? Man, man. nothing. Man, man. Five pain Red Dead Redemption for like the five hundredth hour. Yeah, right. it's pretty good though. Oh, God, what happened? You all right? Yeah. <laughs> you shouldn't use a rolly chair, man. It's just. I don't know. It's just what? It what? Tell you, us. Know, you know what's wrong with rolling chairs? He drifts away yeah. from the, the screen, you know? Ooh, you? You go? Ooh, you? Ooh. <laughs> okay. All right. Super good. You begin to um, traverse the bridge. Mm-hmm. DM what? powers. Oh, okay. That's my yeah. Uh, Clem, what? yes. What do you want, Glenn? How wide is the bridge? It is enough. To do single file, so it's five feet. Wide. How many? <laughs> how many units seven is that? Feet, of, seven feet. Thank wide. you. I could probably fit two of us in there at a you time. You could, but it's also a very old bridge. Okay. But before I take nice bridge. <laughs> before I take my DM powers, can you remind me who all's here? Yeah. Whoa. There are two Jar Jar Binks. There mm-hmm. is that part I know. John Lawrence, Hercules mm-hmm. Mulligan, Marquis mm-hmm. de Lafayette, mm-hmm. Jiminy Cricket. Um, there is also a uh, centaur, son of yours, Morris. Mm-hmm. Um, centaur, son of yours. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what I named him. That's his real name. But cool. he, but he doesn't like it, so he goes by whatever he calls himself. Cool. And um, Nick Rom- Nick Romancer is. Oh yeah, that guy. He's he stayed back, uh, trying to kind of help out with the um, the residents inside of the the temple that you had left. Before you mm-hmm. went into the Underdark. So he's he's still hanging out there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. What are the three the three new guys from Hamilton? Last names? Lawrence. Lafayette. Mulligan. Lawrence, Mulligan. Lafayette. 
Is there one that we don't like more than the others? <laughs> uh, I like them. I don't. I don't know the story very well. Um, John Lawrence is. Um, he's a proponent of the abol abolition of slavery. Marquis de Lafayette was the one who um, was responsible for getting the French to come over and help mm -hmm. us. Uh, Hercules mm -hmm. Mulligan was a spy on the inside, and so, a spy for who? For us. Well, oh. against. Oh man, the, they all sound like yeah. good people. Yeah. Yeah, that's a problem, isn't it? Yeah, that is a big problem. Okay. We still have two Gungans. Yeah, I know. Don't worry, I'm getting there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I got plans. I got plans. They're multiplying. Oh, yeah. Yummy. Oh, yeah, what? There's They're there's awful. also, so, hanging around in there somewhere, is Brian <laughs> Chunk and Cucumber, as well <laughs> as Data and Lieutenant Wolf. Oh, my gosh. There's so many people. <laughs> All right. I'm going to get rid of some of these people. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> go for it. Okay, so the bridge is open, and it looks easy to walk across. So I send Brian, Chunk, and Cucumber to walk across the bridge, and the bridge falls apart, <gasps> and Brian falls down uh, to a horrible uh... death, and Chunk and Cucumber are there as well, and they're hanging on. And they go, we don't know what to do. We don't know we what to do. We're know. hanging on. They're yeah. hanging on. And then, um, so what happens is there's no bridge and no way to get across. And so um, Koval takes one of the Gungans, Jar Jars, and uh, pushes him towards the edge and gets him to step across. And it's like Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade where there's an invisible bridge. But you got to throw the dust out there and see that it's an invisible bridge. Um, and uh, he pushes the Gungan, the Gungan takes a step. So Koval realizes that the bridge is there, but then the Gungan doesn't realize it fast enough and takes a step the wrong way and falls off. And so that Gungan is dead. And then the next Gungan is right in front. Hold on, let me finish this just tiny bit. The next Gungan <laughs> is right in front, whoa, whoa, and I give two lightsabers to Cucumber, or to Koval, and I set him up like um, uh, Darth Sidious, or um, no, what's his name? Um, this is taking way too long. Yes, it is. I know, but no, it's like, um, I forgot all the words, and it was going to go by fast, I swear. You tell um, the powers. I know. Um, but what's his name that Anakin kills with the two lightsabers? Oh, uh, Dooku. Dooku. So, uh, so I set up the Gungan and I give two lightsabers. So the Gungan is like Dooku and Koval is like Anakin. And then I whisper in Koval's ear, you choose. And then I step back. I do it. <laughs> so then that's that's where we're left. <laughs> okay. I do it. <laughs> you you slice off the head. I mean, like, there's no way you're not gonna. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. And then you. Oh, I'm very upset. Yeah. I'm very annoyed. So I just hold out my hand, like, give my damn lightsaber back. I give you your lightsaber back, but I still somehow have two more. Two so green I'll ones. Take them. You don't need mine anymore. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, tell a potato pony I got it wrong. I said, do it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I whispered here. Ah! Do it. Oh no! DM powers to Brian. Keep on going, <laughs> oh, bud. No. Uh, from this, wow, really? From this Wait, point. That's Kenny's song. Yep. Oh, this is Kenny's Someone song. Get Kenny on the line. Who wants mm -hmm. to do it? You, you're the one. That, oh, wait, I have powers to do that. Yeah, you do. You do it. I do, I do, I do. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so what are we going to do? Okay, I'll do it after DM this. DM powers, DM powers. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep going? Yeah. Um, can you explain what's on the other side real quick a little bit in a vague way? Okay. Well, nobody really go. No, some people say you just die. Some people <laughs> say uh, you go to another place. You, as you look over across the way, you notice that there are recent signs of activity. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Um, and you you get the sense that there is some sort of danger lurking on the uh, behind the rocks on the other side. Um, you also notice that there is uh, a multiple different holes and entrances to different tunnels across the top of the um, the side <laughs> of the walls. Um, some of them are basically unreachable. Um, one of them. Uh, you can kind of tell there has been activity going through it. So that's what you know. One of the what? One, one of more the tunnels. Tunnels. What was it again? One tunnel. Of the tunnels. A tunnel. Yeah. What a what? Okay. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Yeah. 
Go. So as Koval splits the Gungan's head off with the two lightsabers, some of the uncauterized blood spills across the pathway. So now we know that there's a secret bridge to pass. And Koval says, this way! But he sends the other three guys to lead. He says, this way, but you go first. And so the other three guys go across the bridge. And then um, as we're crossing the bridge, a big um, razor blade swings across the bridge and slices um, Chunk in half. <gasps> and then Cucumber is there. Um, and he says, Chunk, I love you, but only the half that fell. I must go after it and dives off the edge um, <laughs> to go after the half that he loves. Um, and as he's falling, he realizes that's not the half that he loves. The other half is up on the bridge. And then um, we walk across the bridge and we get to the other side and see the tunnel that we have to go in. And it's a beautiful tunnel and it looks like the right way. So we walk in and um, and then Zar, acts, that's me, accidentally leans down like short round and I press a button that disables all the traps in the entire place and I get full health. That's I'm already at full health, so it doesn't matter. All right. Wait, so then cucumber, Cucumber's part that he loved was my bottom half? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can decide what that is. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, let me go probably at this call. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Also, everyone in the chat. No, so because last week they dropped Cucumber, Chunk, and Brian into the game. So those are separate from our in-game <laughs> characters of Koval, Zar, and Blam Kaboom. Yeah, yeah. I'm just thinning out the herd for Ryan. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> A little uh, bit less for you to deal with. It's true. But don't worry, there's Necromancer, and he can bring them all back. <laughs> they want to know what hat Chunk was wearing. I know I've been told, but I have forgotten. It's a hat hat. Yep. You're right. Definitely that kind. Um, All right. I'm going to call Kenny. Calling Kenny. Calling Kenny. Calling Kenny. I guess I could have done this while the it was Kenny for you. Yeah. But... Clack, clack. <laughs> there it is. Oh. All right. So everybody can talk to him, I think. Oh, cool. It's like Ooh. a conference phone. Yeah. Uh, I am connected, I think. Yeah, okay. I'm going to call him. Hold on. Mm. Who sings at 500, Rubber Ducky asks. Uh, we never really had to talk about that. All of us, and Ryan has to join in. All right. Because he sings with us. Yeah, that's good. Sure. Mm -hmm. I don't think it would be terrible. Okay, I'm calling Kenny. <laughs> Actually, a random term it, turn up the, the Calling Kenny is a birthday song. Calling Kenny. Kenny calling Kenny, 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 Kenny for you. you. Yeah. Bum, bum. Oh, you guys hear? I can. No, 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 no. No, 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 Kenny! Hey, Kenny, guess hey, what? <laughs> <laughs> Four hundred dollars yep. goal. So um, we're wow. calling you. <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> you gotta sing. We gotta do a bard song. Holy moly! Okay, wow. Yeah, yeah. You sound great, by the way. So uh, perfectly clear. I'm looking for perfectly clear. We can hear everything you say. We're not as good. No, no. Just do it there. Just do it there. <laughs> just do it right there. <laughs> sing it good. You are, just go. Better <laughs> loud and proud in front of your family, really. And action. Yeah, just call everybody in. What, what, what am I thinking about? What is going on? You mean you're uh, not okay. watching everything? <laughs> uh, yeah. people died. Cucumber and Chunk died. Uh, uh, cucumber uh, dove after his favorite half a chunk. Yeah. <laughs> Turns out wow. it was the bottom half, we learned. Um, <laughs> two Gungans died. We have light yeah. papers. Uh, there's, a, there's a lieutenant, a wolf. And there's, a, there's a. There's some Hamilton people in there. Some Hamilton people here. <laughs> Funny, this, this tells me nothing. Which I yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, two gun guns died. You said. Yeah. Yeah. Sadly. Okay. Uh, Specifically, duplicate Jar Jars. Yeah, it's actually two Jar Jar Binks. Wow. Okay. Who had so. previously died twice in the last five minutes before that? <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> Let's sing a song about Jar 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 Jar. Jar, Jar. Who died right now? Right now. 
This is a song all about Jar 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 Two Gungans that are down. Well, two Gungans died, and I don't really care. They can go to heaven or hell. We don't really care about the Gungans now. That's chunks thing in me how we kill all the gungans we can see and i don't really matter to me because the gungans they can go to down we don't really care about them so kill them all now kill the gungans kill the gungans so sad they got in our world so sad kill the gungans kill the gungans kill every man child boy or girl now the streets sound very mean Kill all the Gungans till we can't find them anywhere. So anywhere. Yeah, that was good. Perfect. That was excellent. Yeah. Vardalot says, Ryan, take notes. <laughs> Ryan. Oh. All right. Well, <laughs> All right. Uh, we'll call you if we reach another goal. We'll let you know. <laughs> yeah, we'll just surprise call you again. I'm busy. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're not doing anything anyway, right? I won't be eating anything. No. Just, eating. It's okay. just go back to playing Red Red Redemption. Family. Yeah, yeah. Go back to Red Dead. Red Dead. If only. <laughs> right, guys, have a great rest of your show. Bye. 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 Thanks. Thanks. Thanks for not watching. <laughs> <laughs> the phone calls on this on, on this road mix are great. Uh, that was that sounded that was nice. Yeah, because it, it really well. Connects Bluetooth to the phone directly. Oh wow! Oh, that's uh, dope. Yeah, it's good for podcasting. That's why it's good for podcasting. Got it. Brilliant. Awesome. What well, a guy. Nah, nah. Uh, nah. Cricket even chimed in for that one, too. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I finished my wine and I'm moving on to my tequila. <laughs> tequila wine. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Tequila. <laughs> yep. All right. So I'm taking it by IV, though, so I don't have to stop. I can just keep Oh, going. that's nice. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to try out suppositories next week. Yeah. Okay. Stick it all in that bottom half, my favorite half. You got a lot of chunk in that trunk. Yeah. <laughs> you remember, like, hilarious. Music? Okay. It's, it's a small tangent. Do you remember? <laughs> Never mind. I'm not going to say it's really gross. <laughs> Go ahead. Give me the show. Well, now I yeah, got I'm not going to tell you. Remember, like, uh, like, five years ago when, like, stupid teenagers were sticking tampons in their butts with alcohol in them so they'd get drunk? Mm hmm. Yeah, they, I actually don't. They would, there was there was this like stupid craze for a while where they're huh. like teenagers were soaking tampons in alcohol. I'm sorry, this is really gross. In alcohol and then putting them up their butts because huh. they didn't have to drink it. They wouldn't smell, but their body would absorb through their like inside membranes. It was terrible. That's so stupid. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now we just switch to bleach, so it's all the same. <laughs> they they get <laughs> hurt. Do they get hurt or is it just gross? <laughs> Uh, they would get drunk, and I'm not I remember if they would actually get hurt. I think it was fine because it's you know. Yeah. Just, Interesting. Like, wow. Cool story, bro. Yeah, it was great. It was awful. Hmm. Teenagers. <laughs> yeah, I hate you. Yikes. Okay. Teenagers are the worst. Uh. Okay. 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 Yeah. So. And you didn't, you didn't <laughs> kill anyone from Hamilton yet, right? Nope. All right. They stayed on. Mm. They're patriots. They're yeah. leading the way, though. They are leading the way. Uh, okay. Yeah. So they're not exceeding expectations. They're leading the oh, way. Because there's already like other people that are already there, so they can only hand out a certain amount. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. Yep. They didn't do anything though, but they're definitely leading the way. <laughs> Got it. Uh, so they call it a Damien Montezing the the <laughs> the situation. Leading the way. <laughs> Sorry, Ryan. Those are like deep cut inside jokes. Yep. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Um, we should invite Damien on the show. Ooh, Beard on a Batman's getting all scientific with the definition. <laughs> He'd agree to it and then I'd do it. He might. You, uh, now that you're safely inside the tunnel, um, you 
notice that there is uh, fresh tracks, uh, little mm-hmm. little footprints that have come this way, um, as well as a, a taller or a larger creature's footprints has also made its way through here before. Can That's I investigate only. those? You may. With a probably what nature check? Um, sure. Yeah. That was a three. Kind Minus of, one. You all need to snoop the stories you all tell you. No, I don't. I'm not responsible for anything. I, aren't I, we calling ourselves responsible escapism? Isn't that like a one half of our motto? Yeah, we moved on for that. <laughs> Look at me. Wait. I'm blue and I'm fuzzy. Are you going to trust me? Well, I believe everything you say. The blue fuzzy thinks to trust them about anything. <laughs> I never claim that you should listen to me or follow me. I, no, I grew definitely, but you should not listen to me nor um, take everything with a grain of salt. I mm. grew up trusting a blue fuzzy thing. So, mm. okay, yep. <laughs> so, um, so yeah. So you got a two then. Would you like to re-roll it with your four re-rolls? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Crab says, you've ruined me, Chunk. I'll never trust anyone again. <laughs> you can trust me. All right. So that was uh, but you did, but you did. 12. Okay. <laughs> you guys good? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> huh? What happened to you? Me? Yeah. I'm saying, but you just said not to trust you. Oh. You um, so you <laughs> see... Um, you you recognize them as uh, yo, yo. humanoid friends, uh, footprints. Um, mm-hmm. You can definitely identify them as as something belonging probably to a halfling. Um, halfling foot. Yes. Um, <laughs> you also see that the the larger creature seems to be some kind of human um, with boots on of, of sorts. Um, boots. <laughs> Roof. Go <laughs> on. Um, but yeah, so you're you're able to tell that these are probably the tracks you are looking for. Yeah. Hey guys, these uh, are the tracks we're looking for. More. Wait hey, yo. <laughs> yeah, these are the tracks we're looking for. Yeah, I think boots. <laughs> Halfling boots. 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 Stops. Boots. Stops. <laughs> boots. Stops. Okay. <laughs> So, um, you keep going through this tunnel. <laughs> Imagine us just standing there pointing at the ground <laughs> yelling into the cave. <laughs> boots! Boots! <laughs> boots! <laughs> we need to write a fantasy short. My front door's open again. <laughs> yeah, they can see all your weirdness. Mm-hmm. Can they tell you're not <sighs> wearing pants this time? Mm, I, I hope not. Whatever. When did you take your ball crushing shorts off? <laughs> I didn't. I was, I was dreaming. I was hoping. Cricket. So, um, as you, oh, you walk, that's just Jiminy reminding him that he's on your shoulder. Cricket. Wait, wait, wait. Let's read the end of the mermaid. Part of your world, just around the river bend. Oh. There, dreaming by the sea. It's done. The movie's over. Oh, Credits good. rolling. Yeah. Tick, tick, tick. Under the sea reprise. Go. Right. So. Wiki, 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 wiki. You notice wiki, there wiki, is wiki, wiki, a little wiki. bit of light up ahead. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> um, and it's a weird, like, n- like organic mm-hmm. blue light that is glowing. Mm-hmm. Um, Interesting. Yeah. You what a light. You step into the next room, essentially. Mm-hmm. And it mm-hmm. is it is a chamber larger than the one that you came from that had the bridge. <gasps> this one's bigger. What are? Is it a chamber of secrets? It's, it's not. They're pretty well out in the open actually. Okay. Yeah. Just checking. So, um, and you're able to see now where the points of light are actually coming from. You see that there are large um five foot tall mushroom stalks that are dotting different parts of the landscape here. And they are the entire 
um, stock of them is giving off of a light blue glow. I uh, ask Lawrence to take a bite. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, oh. Let me also continue how uh, this room looks. Okay. Um, Roll, finish. Roll for Hannes on the mushroom. I lost my seat. I'll be back. <laughs> Where'd it go? <laughs> Gracier calls it the chamber of the blatantly obvious. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Uh, it was a three on the mushroom. So, um, hmm. but so as you look around, you also notice that there is a um, a stretched. Um, oh my god, I'm gonna fucking kill you. Who, who's doing that? I don't know. I wonder. It was not me, I swear. I was fixing my seat. Uh huh. It's the cucumber. <laughs> 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 See? He said, not me. He said, the nerd with the yellow face. <laughs> Fine. That's green. Green face. <laughs> <sighs> okay. The potato yeah, point is, I'm lost by this stream. Imagine being in it. <laughs> D N D D N D D N D D N D. Uh, so what you see is that there are several large white strands that are strung up, uh, resembling spider webs, but they are so immense that they couldn't possibly have been made by spiders. Um, wow, those look like spider webs, but they're so immense they couldn't possibly have been made by spiders. These spiders that you are familiar with. Could they have been immense spiders? At least spiders that I'm familiar with. <laughs> I'm yelling in a cave. Amber's telling me I'm loud. I'm yelling in a cave. I don't like it. <laughs> you also kind of get an idea that the this tunnel is very, very um, round, but not something that could be carved by a normal human's hands or anything like that. Um, but carved by a not human. Definitely not something that a... A creature could have carved out, but also not naturally forming. So this tunnel is unique than the one that you came from. Aliens? I would yep. like Definitely to aliens. use nature okay. Okay. to figure out how this could have come to be. Sure. Uh, with a 10. I'm annoyed 117 people are still watching us. <laughs> nature. Don't knock it. 11. All right. I'm not knocking it. I'm just... You, like, you even like maybe send one of like Lawrence or, or Mulligan to go over and, and check it and like they test the this with the webbing and stuff and it is indeed sticky so it it has yeah. to be a spider web um, and you have it's a graboid we're in a graboid <laughs> tunnel you also have seen um, similar like tunnels to this before but only on the scale of like what a a larger worm can do. Ah, oh, Shai Halud. <laughs> so, May we be blessed by his passing. <laughs> you you get the idea that there's some very, very large insects that are down here with you. Uh oh, you guys, I think there's very large insects down here with us. Also, uh -oh. they're not leaving because they love me. Um, Tread softly. So, Lawrence okay. kind of turns to you and says, Well, I, uh, the temple that we saw is over there, and he points across this one little bridge of silk web that uh, leads to one of the points. Uh, one of the there's a, like another outcropping uh, 30 feet above you, and there's like this weird little um, balcony essentially to, to basically get off of the web and, and go inside. We cross. I cross the web. Okay. I start um, crossing the web. You start crossing the web. I pull out my leg. Cool, cool. Like, to, like to, you know, just <laughs> machete the, the, the whatever webs are around. Okay. Um, There isn't, like, a ton of smaller webs. It's mostly just the ones making this, like, giant bridge network. I put my lightsaber away because we're going to have to walk on that bridge. <laughs> yes. Good call. I take damn it. <laughs> um, so, yeah, you, you start tra traversing the bridge here. Um, and 
you have you're having to struggle a little bit on on the ropes here because it's just a little bit sticky. So your your speed is kind of half at this point going across this this cavernly space. Um, you start feeling a little bit of a bright a vibration in the in the ropes and it kind of like bounces up and down a little bit as you're walking. Um, you kind of get the idea that something might be starting to head your way. I'm holding a cup of water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, still continuing cross so far, you're looking around. Nothing is, has come out yet. Um, but you finally, you make it to the, the balcony on the other side. Everyone Hoo-wee. manages to get there. Just as you see in the dim light far off in the distance of the cave, a whole bunch of eyes glisten in the blue light that you can see. Um, and as it starts pulling itself out of the darkness, it is encompassing the entire space of this cave as it pulls its body through. And it is a gigantic, immense tarantula. A tarantula? Not an immense tarantula. Oh no, I've heard of these immense tarantulas. They are terrible. <laughs> um, and as you are, um, as as it's getting closer, the ground begins to shake more and more. You start to see um, that some of the rocks start to fall from the ceiling. Um, and uh, you get the idea that it's probably a good idea to get inside the temple before it gets to you. Mm-hmm. Okay. I do that. <laughs> so, yeah. You all rush inside. <laughs> yeah, go, go, go. Ah. Take out your nut. <laughs> yeah. Um, and... <laughs> I get it. <laughs> okay. And <laughs> and you, uh, you make it inside. Um... You you feel you you keep feeling the vibrations get uh, stronger and stronger uh, until you actually have to jump out of the way of some falling rocks right inside the the uh, entry chamber. All right, you all are okay except for Koval. Koval, you take five points of bludgeoning damage as one of these stones comes loose from the ceiling and knocks you in the head. Koval, look out for the stone. Look, Look out for that. that. Ooh. Never strong. mind. <laughs> okay. Five. One, two. One, two, three, four, five. Apply changes. Yeah. As the dust settles, you realize that the the patio, the um, balcony here has collapsed. And the <laughs> entrance that you guys came in has sealed itself. Oh, no. No way. Oh, <laughs> shit. Oh, <laughs> Are we going to get out? Oh, how do how do no. we get out? You don't know. Why not? Mm. And this is what we'll pick up next week. Can you oh, tell us? Okay. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. This just seemed like a spot where you would say that. Oh yeah. Oh. No, not not yet. I mean, if, unless you're tired, but that's cool. No, no, I was just kidding. Oh, he's, not, he's just drunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just drunk, yeah, tired. This, this 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 old wine. I think it fermented longer. Which <laughs> has been sent for song. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> as you um, yeah. Oh, what? I kicked my light. I almost knocked it over. It's wow. fine. <laughs> it's fine now. <laughs> <sighs> Great. <laughs> okay. So. Yeah. You the the. Mm-hmm. The shaking is still kind of going on, but it's getting the shakiness. <laughs> But Don't you, knock over your stuff, though. Yeah. Wah, wah. You <sighs> can feel the the spider is starting to walk away from where you guys are. Oh, did we scare it away? It. I mean, it can't get to you, so it really doesn't care about you. Huh. Is it still shaky? N- no, it's getting less and less and nothing. Okay, I keep okay. going. All right. Um, there's very very. So now, now that the area has been sealed off, there's no light in here. So only <gasps> the ones with dark dark vision can see. Mm-hmm. Um, you also notice that 
the air in here is is very thin. Um, <laughs> <laughs> You also hear um, a very slight trickle of water somewhere deeper in the chamber, but you can't. I quite... finish and then zip up. <laughs> Great. Such uh, a slight trickle of water. Mm. Okay. So um, you continue in, and you're able to see now. Um, who has dark? I think. I think. Uh, most. Of I do. Does. Yeah. Most, of most, of you, yeah. most of us does. Most of us does. Who's drunk now? Mm. Most of us does. <laughs> does all of you does? Hold on, I'm gonna look him. I'm looking. I'm gonna look him. I don't think I have it. No. I got it. Ooh, I have a psychic glamour. <laughs> Glad you're discovering that now. That's uh, that's useful. Use that. Mm. Yeah, you don't have it, Glam. Yeah, I don't have any. Cool. Okay. Facial traits. I don't have it either. Oh. It's dark. It's so dark. I can see. You can. Okay. Um. So. Uh, Lawrence kind of turns to you, you all and says, "I, <laughs> I hate to be the. I. That. that <laughs> I, I hate to be that guy, but uh, we're but you we're, are we're all just a bunch of humans, and we can't really see in this. Do you, do you mind if I light a torch? Uh, nope. Don't light a torch. Don't light don't a do torch. It. I do mind. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, Jiminy, uh, Jiminy, scout dark. ahead. Oh yeah, man. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> you turned into Matt Acevedo. <laughs> oh yeah, man. Go, Jiminy, go. Yeah, go, go Matt, Jiminy Acevedo. <laughs> <laughs> that, that actually was like a perfect Acevedo impression. Uh, yeah, man. Not on purpose. <laughs> I know. All of his good impressions are not on purpose. That's right. Uh, yeah, the moment right. he tries, forget about it. Yeah. You're Stop so trying, cool. Ryan. Oh. <laughs> Should be a t shirt. Stop trying, yeah. Ryan. <laughs> Stop trying, Ryan. <laughs> it's all of us like pointing at him. Coming to an Etsy store next mm. week. Next week. Okay. You better you start it. drawing. You promised. All right. Um, so, yeah. You uh, you send Jiminy on ahead. And... Whose head? <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> also funny. You, and then you <laughs> reports back to you that there is two um, two paths that lead off in, in ahead of you. Uh -huh. um, uh, to the right and the left seem to be basically the same, but uh, they're ten foot high, ten foot wide uh, passageways that are uh, roughly carved out. And are no no finished tile or anything like that. Um, okay. But he he hears the dripping closer to mm -hmm. the left. Dripping good? Dripping bad? Oh, drip, dripping bad. Hey, rickety cricket Jiminy's ne'er-do-well brother who gives cobalt <laughs> bad advice. Yay! <laughs> what does he sound like? Quick, tell us. Hey, man, I think you should, uh, you should go down the, uh, the way to <gasps> the right. Yeah. I thought I lost you in my 20s. <laughs> You're back, Rickety. Hey, man, oh, I never no. really left you. <laughs> he he, he uh, sounds like he knows what he's talking about, Koval. Sounds pretty knowledgeable to me. Yeah. I like his confidence. I always thought he was just in my mind. <laughs> nope, right there. And as Jiminy Holy comes back uh, to, to relay the information, he's like, oh, oh, no. he's He found you. I was trying to keep him away this whole time. ruh -ro. Oh, no. There's only one way we can settle this, Jiminy. A duel to the death. A cricket mm -hmm. fight. A duel oh, yeah. to the death. <laughs> okay. Um, if, if that's the way it must be. Um, that's the way it must be. Jiminy pulls out a, a very small rapier. 
Um, and <laughs> Ricky jumps off your your right shoulder and lands on the mm-hmm. ground in front of him. I lean out to Jiminy and I say, "If anyone asks, I'm rooting for you, buddy." Oh, thanks, man. Now make him dead. I walk over behind Rickety and I start massaging his shoulders and I'm like, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I trim his antennas. I give him a little bit of water. I squeeze it into his mouth. A uh, little bit of liver worst. Yeah, the right, hook, right hook. The right hook. He can't. He doesn't know the right hook. Hmm. He's good at just, just uh <sighs> Okay. They're gonna do a brawl. Okay. Give him the leg. Give him the leg. <laughs> DS Worker says, let them fight it off by telling your mama jokes. <laughs> That would just be a lot of time of Ryan Yo Mama jokesing himself, and I don't think any of us have that kind of uh, uh, constitution. I don't got time for that. No. Okay. Even in this quarantine, I don't have time for that. Um, oh, have time. Well, yes. Save it for later, because that might be a good DM power. Mm. Ryan does Yo Mama jokes for tens. Yikes. Oh my gosh. No, no, no. The, the one minute. That would be if you want to lose viewers, sir. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, for the one time we have way too many. <laughs> yeah, we almost got there. Almost. Yeah, it's only there. gonna be once, and that it's only ever. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. You see, um, them both uh, go toe to toe with each other. Um, he's like, I knew. It. Yeah. They don't have toes. Uh, Connie says, "Sweep the leg, Jiminy. Put him in a body bag." <laughs> <laughs> Great. Excellent. Um. They uh, start uh, charging at each other. Uh, <gasps> Jiminy jumps into the air and just uh, grabs onto the top of him, and they do a, They start tussling together. Mm. Um, <gasps> should I get the oil out for as, this tussle? Yes. <laughs> if as they um, they're wrestling, you see that uh, Jiminy is, seems to be do, having the upper hand, but you see that uh, Rickety. Uh, reaches into his pocket, pulls out a brass ring, a brass knuckles, and <gasps> decks a brass across. ring knuckles. Shut up. Um, mm-hmm. Brass knuckles across the face, and uh, you hear a little bit of cracking from the exoskeleton <gasps> of Jiminy. Jiminy, no! Um, oh, he, uh, Jiminy oh. is sent uh, hurtling into the air, knocking a couple feet, um, and uh, Rickety kind of gets up and starts making his way over to him. And you see uh, Jiminy is kind of like trying to pull himself away from, from Rickety as it's, he's coming towards him. And, and Rickety is just like, you should have stayed away from him, man. But no, I had to kill you. <gasps> and he just re- uh, wallops him and just starts going at him and at him until there's just Icker from Jiminy. Oh, I scoop up Jiminy's Icker. pile. I don't even know her. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> And then I pop what's left of them into my mouth. Oh. All right. It's good protein. Crunchy. Yeah. All right, come on up here, Rickety. Yeah, I knew this is how it You've was going to end. Proven yourself worthy. Pops up on You've here. got my ear, old friend. Glad to hear it. Now, like I said, go right. Um, we go right. Just so you guys know, the entire time Amber was doing a full lip sync um uh, uh, of of into the unknown in the background of this. Oh, <laughs> why why are you with Amber? Because uh, um, would you kick Art out? Raisins. <laughs> okay. Raisins. Raisins. <laughs> raisins. Because that all it takes is raisins. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, this is real weird. It really is. <sighs> so, uh, continue. <laughs> what happened to Chunk Space? A good question. I'm emoting. Huh? I am emote too. <laughs> so can I. Just you can't do it. All right. I'm gonna figure out something I can do. It'll so be you, fun. You head into this area, and as you walk in, uh, it the wall curves up and it just dead ends. Um, <gasps> and at that point, Rickety, you let me wrong, bro. <laughs> he he just starts just laughing. He's like, <laughs> "Why did you ever think you could trust me?" And then from the ceiling, a gray ooze material drops onto the ground and forms <gasps> into this um, pillar-like creature. 
And we are gonna start initiative because you are fighting the gray ooze. Oh, oh no, not the gray ooze. Gray ooze. All right, Zara, you got an eight. Plus two. Okay. Blam, you got also an eight. Nice. Plus anything? Oh, yeah. Um, Okay. And then, Koval, you got a 16. Oh, boy. Yeah. You say, ooze. Okay. Okay. So, Koval, what would you like to do? What I like to do, mm. I would like to, as a bonus action, cast Branding Smite on my uh, greatsword. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I would like to attack him with my greatsword twice. Great. Uh, first hit is a 15, so that... Plus five. Cool. <laughs> Uh, both attacks are going to hit, but the first one will do your branding smite damage. Oh yeah, that'll be uh two two d six. Eight. Um eight and this is with your what was your weapon? The great sword, so two d six plus two for both of those. Alright. Um and now and now he's going to, I think it was glow and in the now. dark and, and some other stuff. So it deals an extra 2D, uh, 2d6 radiant damage, which becomes visible if it's invisible, and the target sheds dim light in a five foot radius and can't become invisible until the spell ends. So it's now illuminating this chamber a little bit. Nice. Okay. So yeah, you, you just start hacking into this amorphous blob and as soon as the first hit attacks, uh, strikes it, the the glow from your sword uh, connects and starts just kind of enveloping the rest of the creature, and it just gives off a light now that easily makes it uh, attack uh, attackable for everyone else. Thanks for for gifting that nice. sub. Okay. Yay, Scott mate. Other way around. That's right. That's Thanks, right. Thanks, Scott mate. Pardon. All right. Uh, <laughs> Dawn. I know what you mm -hmm. mean. <laughs> <laughs> this cricket makes me feel like we're back in the garage. It, I'm really so excited about this cricket. Yeah. This is, yeah. Uh, this is a nostalgia episode. The thing is, it's not even the same cricket. This is my cricket. <laughs> it's like in my head, and I can't think of anything else while I hear it. <laughs> Imagine being here <laughs> in this room. <laughs> it's so true. Uh, okay. So uh, at this point, Lawrence draws his um, his saber and goes to make a swing at the ooze. Mm -hmm. uh, but swing he does, at the ooze. He he <laughs> the ooze. He's a little uh, emaciated from being down here for so long. Okay. So long. <laughs> Stupid. How long was it? <laughs> and. <laughs> Are you doing my Mexican accent? Because that's what I sound like. Mm -mm. It's really mm -mm. offensive if you mm -mm. do it. I'm being mm -mm. distracted right now. Yeah, I was making fun of Ryan. So I was making fun of whatever he was doing. <laughs> you having fun, bud? Way over there? Yeah. Do we, uh... Well, I want to play. No. We boring you? I was waiting for my turn. I took my turn. Stupid. Now I'm going for a cruise. <laughs> Space. What else I got? <sighs> The the ooze. Oh yeah, that's good. One. <laughs> what? Uh, he goes to uh, mm -hmm. attack cucumber uh, to uh -huh. attack Koval since he's the first one there. Um, mm -hmm. He uh, whips out two pseudopods and goes to attack both of them, hitting you. You take ooh. Okay, you take eight bludgeoning damage plus <laughs> ten acid damage. Wow. Whoa! Who does? You do, Koval. Uh, do what? 
Uh, my- oh, oh, oh. How much damage? Uh, Toy Joy Austin says this is generally the best. Oh, I scrolled up. The best Twitch content I've ever seen. Generally. Hooray! Thank you, Toy Joy Austin. Thank you. Wait, generally Wait. or genuinely? General. <laughs> this Wait. is ge- generally the best, but yeah. <laughs> genuinely. <laughs> oh, okay. At least it generally. This is generally the best, but it's not today. <laughs> How much damage, Ryan? Uh, Six. Ten. No, it was eight bludgeoning and then 10 acid, I think, is what I said. So 18. 18. You gave oh, me the oh, complicated. Oh, oh. Thanks, Scott, mate. Um, Yay, thank you. Are you wearing metal armor? Me? Yeah. I'll say no. no. Let me see. Hold on. Yeah, I have chain mail on. That's metal. Mm-hmm. You're in the metal. <laughs> is it is it metal? You start you yeah. start seeing splotches of acid start corroding the metal surface of your armor, and it is now your AC reduced by one. Permanently <laughs> until you have it repaired. Oh no! So I can I go in there and edit that? I don't know if I can oh, no. customize yeah. override minus one. Eh, eh. Okay. Maybe I can't. Well, let me go down. Hold on. Hey, y'all. Go buy dinner first. Mm-hmm. Ooze. Oh, no. Now it's now it is minus one. Hold on. 15. <laughs> 15 not, not minus one. 15. Ooze. Ooze. All right. That's Here its turn. Uh, it'll be now Blam's turn. Um... Uh, I, I pull out my lightsaber and go, wow. and I run past it and go, shoom, shoom, hit it two attacks. Okay, two attacks. Two attacks. Precious. <laughs> First one is a four. Plus five, don't forget. And he only has, I'm, I'm going to guess he has like a, probably an eight. So I'll probably hit. Wow, are you looking up stats? No. Hmm. Everybody knows what a gray use that is. Uh-huh. How, uh huh. I wonder uh, how many hit points do you think it is? I don't know. I'm gonna guess like twenty-two, maybe. Wow. <laughs> Ballpark. Uh, <laughs> g- give or take a hit point. <laughs> give or take a hit point. Yeah. I am never telling you what the creature is again. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> Didn't you say it has a dex of six? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you kill it. <laughs> nice. Suck it, gray use. <laughs> no, you suck the gray use because you killed it. <laughs> Slurp it up. <laughs> I didn't even really think about ever cheating in D&D <laughs> until this moment, Chunk. Because he's never told us what it is. And then he did. I was like, well, I know I know. And I can look it up. <laughs> Good old internet. What a jerk. <sighs> it is all one-handed. <laughs> with, with that hand? Yeah, what's the other one doing? <laughs> um, busy. <laughs> all righty. Playing Animal Crossing, aren't you? Um, on the internet, it was really easy. So, as as okay. you slice through the ooze, mm. the, the glowing radiance from the um, the attack that Koval did earlier uh-huh. um, senses the meta that you are wielding and corrupts the crystal, causing it to flicker out. Huh? What? Your lightsaber stops working. You son of a bitch. Whoa. <laughs> Consequences. Ryan's learning. <laughs> Wait, I don't. passed my other lightsaber to Col- uh, to, 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 to Blame. Thank you. So we both have a green lightsaber. You're a gentleman at a scala. Thank you. I'll put my one for you. Likewise. Let's fix it later. All right. So, uh, continuing on. No. Are we? Mm-hmm. Okay. You uh, head back the way you came. And you head. 
<laughs> and you, you I'm behind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Chunk's behind. It's your favorite. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you, uh, you head down the left passage instead of the right passage this time. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. And uh -huh. you find a long hallway that stretches a uh, hundred Longly. feet. A hundred okay. feet, and it kind of winds zigzaggingly. In a long way. Mm -hmm. How does something wind zigzaggingly? <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's more serpentine. Yeah. Yeah, serpentine. Same thing. Anyway, um, um Slugger says I love Chunk. He has a special <laughs> place in my heart, though may so many have claimed I am heartless. Huh? So he's in your heart, but somewhere else? <laughs> yeah. He loves me. He's Shut the one up. who stole Don't it. Don't ruin the moment. <laughs> <laughs> um <sighs> all right. You start uh making your way down this path and you start to hear voices. Um you you notice as you're looking around on the ground there are Bits and scraps of, of uh, recent, like halfling sized clothing, um, all torn They're up. They're naked. <laughs> you <laughs> you see that there's um, like half eaten rations that are just kind of thrown about. It's just messy and disgusting. Um, and you you round this corner, and you see that there is uh, some bodies that have just been laid off to the side that have had their necks uh, cut open. Um, and it seems to be like, not with malice or anything like that. It seems like they have been prepared and then sacrificed and <gasps> it didn't work. And so they just left them up here. So they have no heads or they're just sliced heads. They're just sliced, uh, sliced the neck, but they're still oh, no. sliced at the neck. How um, terrible. I say out loud as I check their pockets. Yeah. <laughs> okay. This I must be I terrible for them. I try to pick up one by the head. Oh, it rips off. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I look at everybody else and I go, I ain't got nobody. <laughs> I like to think you're bouncing it so the jaw is going slack yeah. at just the right times. So like, <laughs> <"Ey, laughs> uh, toss it. Uh, you find uh, amongst the bodies of the dead, you there are 14 Electrum pieces. Yeah. And there a is there is a mace um, that is kind of laid off next to one of the bodies that you get an aura of magic. Bless you. Thank you. Welcome. <laughs> 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 <Okay. laughs> um, it magic? has a it has an aura, aura of magic to it, but you're not sure what it does. It's just it is a mace that does something. I got a magic mace. Magic mace. I'm gonna hold Call on to that. Call it MM. Call it MM for short. MM. Magic MM. Mace. MM. MM. Um, <laughs> magic mace. Yeah. So, um, the tunnel goes on a little bit farther. Yep. And that's where we end. Thanks for coming, everybody. <laughs> oh, that wasn't a very good spot at all. No, that was mine. Was better. All right. Yeah, While we better. walk, I'd like to hang back and try to identify this mace. Okay. Um, you can take some time with that. That's an Arcana check. Uh, okay. 17. Okay. Okay. What do I, what do I know? I'm like sniffing it. Like yeah. Tasting it. Can you lick it? I would. But, eh. I did. <laughs> well, you say no. <laughs> um, so you, you get the feeling that if you were to say the right command word, that this would be able to uh light up it would it would cr Ooh. produce a green flame uh, green flame green flame on the head of the flame. <laughs> on the head of the mace green and would deal extra fire damage if you hit something <sighs> with it. that's so cool though Ooh, i say ignite <laughs> oh ignacio so got it in one <laughs> uh, I, wasn't snuff? <laughs> I mean you can just yeah it, I mean, yeah, it, it it turns back off. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so you have a, a magic mace that does green fire damage. Sweet. Yeah. Okay. Um, so as you round the corner. Go off. Go off. Hmm. What's up? 
Is me Yeah, yeah, what's up? Uh, I, I, I have a question, a query, uh-huh. if you please. Of course. Um, uh-huh. Now that you have this green mace, do you uh-huh. think you'll find yourself using your other green lightsaber? Uh, you know what? Y- you take it. I have a feeling someone's going to try and destroy these, so I'm going to give you a second chance oh, on that. Sweet, one there, thank you. Yeah, you, you got it. You got it. I will, I, will, I will happily hand it back. Yeah, maybe if we get into some trouble or something, toss yeah. one my way. But I want to see what this baby can do. Blame on. <laughs> Blame on. <laughs> 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 he just walks ahead, and we see this light going. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I, I just keep on going. <laughs> Perfect. Um, with that, you round the corner and you hear the sound of the trickling water start to uh, turn into more of a gushing sound. Oh, and mm, yeah. <laughs> you also um, feel the rush of wind as an arrow flies right by your head. <laughs> Uh, Koval's head, because he's leading the charge oh, with the mace. Um, you were basically using a giant signal fire when, as you were entering the chamber. I and like to you... Morse code it to say, fuck you. <laughs> you... <laughs> Perfect. Mm-hmm. Um, and we are going to pick up next time with Koval. Hooray! Would this be a, a hellfire mace if I'm going to add this into my inventory, or is this yeah. something else? Yes. Mm, that sounds interesting, but I don't, I don't know. I'll have to look what that is. Uh, does a hellfire that sheds dim light in a five foot radius, any humanoid kill? Uh, no, that's different. They're like sending souls to hell and shit. I don't want that. No. It's one of flame and mace. Yeah, it's just a flame and mace. Does an extra d6 of fire damage. Hey. Okay. Cool. All right. Yes, Blam. Well, or, or, sorry. <laughs> at, at, the sound, at the sound of this rushing water, can I put on my yellow raincoat and put the hood on? Okay. <laughs> Just in case. I make a paper boat and <laughs> put it on the floor. Right. Perfect. All right. <laughs> so, yes. Got my yellow link. That is where we are going to end for the night, and we will pick up next time. <gasps> Thank you. Yay. Thank you so much Yay. for joining us tonight. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. We're going to be back tomorrow with uh, mm-hmm. chat time at 1 p.m. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. And, and then art-, art fabrication at 3 p.m. Yeah. Mm. Mm. And then uh, mm. uh Treasure Base Theater at 7 30 p.m. on Friday. What are we doing? Uh, yeah. Um Santa something Claus, uh, uh, Santa Claus Conquers the Martians. Yeah. There you go. Woohoo! It's <laughs> gonna be great. Yes. Yeah, it's gonna be so Martians. much fun. All right. Um and of course thank you all for your donations tonight. Uh they really yeah, thank you for uh keeping our thank station you. open and whatnot. Yes. Um, we're gonna find someone to raid. Uh, right. Hey. It's like Madame Gandalf is on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Raid. Perfect. Madame Gandalf. Start that raid right now. Uh, so yeah. He does the best raid dances. Crank me up every time. A raid dance. A raid dance. Yeah, one of those videos that goes. Yeah, yeah, where it just goes all crazy. Because <laughs> it's all just like effects. It's all the same feed, and she's just like. Boom. Yeah. Super cool. All right. Awesome. Cool. We'll see you guys next time. Good night, everybody. Thank you so much. Bye. The best.